Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, so we're going to look at a one-legged standing position using the yoga block and having some negative space in the opposite leg and foot. And we're looking at, and you've seen these before um, in some of the videos we've done, the hip glide up and down, uh, moving the pelvis on the leg, and then the knee bend, moving the leg on that still pelvis. But um, I wanted to start to talk about also when we do this, to really pay attention to how we're using our foot. So uh, it's better to use a cork block and you want all four corners of your feet on the block. So you can have, you wanna feel inside, outside of the heel and you wanna feel ball of your big toe and pinky toe. And then you line yourself up into as a, much of a neutral as you can. So you start with the hip bones straight across from one another and as much equal length in the side of the waist. From here, this standing leg stays straight. Both legs stay straight. So on the inhale, you're gonna hike the hip up to the armpit of the standing leg that's on the yoga block. And then to bring the opposite hip up, you want to do it from the standing leg and hip that are on the yoga block. So you're thinking about driving down into the foot, lifting up through the inner thigh, and evening out the pelvis. So again, you let the hip come up to the armpit. Now, for a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll use the other hip and lower back to lift this hip up, and that's what you want to avoid. So you want to really use the um, power of the leg, the rooting down of the feet, the lifting of the inner thigh, and then from there, glide the hip on that still stable femur head and foot. Now the other thing you can do here is just that little bend of the knee and straightening. So the previous one we were doing pelvis on the neutral still leg, and now we're moving the leg on the still pelvis. So the leg now is the locomotion. And the pelvis is the passenger that's just riding, staying neutral. You wanna make sure that the hips stay right across from one another, that you're not dropping that hip as you bend your knee, and then lengthening. So this exercise, you know, there's so much detail that you can do inside those two simple movements. But this exercise, um, is gonna really help people um, in one-legged standing, of course, strengthening their side hip, also using their inner thigh correctly, and also strengthening through the ankle and the foot. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.